What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I am back with another mail day for you. This time a quick, just three envelope, all uh, standard envelope mail day for you. Although one of them came, I believe, from the Czech Republic. So uh, we'll save that one for last. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one here first. I think I know what this is. Okay, yep. So this is a, uh, a printing plate from the early Panini era of someone that um, I've seen described as the Jackie Robinson of the NBA. Uh, someone who a lot of people said broke the color barrier of the NBA. Um, and that is uh, Earl Lloyd. Now I know technically I, I guess you could say that Wat Masaka broke the color barrier of the NBA. You know, I, I want to give respect to both of these men. I, I don't want it to become a competition. So I, I did want to mention Watt, though, because that's someone that people have told me about as well. But anyway, Earl Lloyd, um, pretty significant man in NBA history. You might have heard his name come up with um, you know Nat Clifton recently and also Chuck Cooper. All three of those guys were kind of associated with one another. They all came to the league at the same time. But Earl Lloyd was the first one of those three gentlemen to check into an NBA game. So anyway, he doesn't have a lot of cards out. Um, definitely not rare cards. So I saw this printing plate pop up on eBay. Uh, I think I got it for like $10 shipped. So that I don't know if that's something I'm going to hold on to because I do have a signed rookie that um, I had him sign in the mail while he was still alive. So um, this might be something that goes in my card show inventory. But anyway, it was something different, something that stood out to me. So I decided I would pick that up. Thought that was a nice, uh, nice little purchase there. Okay, next up we've got another one of these armelopes. I don't know if, if these are just a recent thing because I, I've now seen two in two weeks. Um, but let's see what we've got inside here. I think I remember what we've got inside here. This is a card that uh, a numbered card. So it'll go in my numbered run our test binder. That even though it's numbered to fifty, I don't see these often. A nice big hair on it there. Hopefully pet hair. Um, so this is um, numbered to 50, and I believe it's from 0203, which would make sense because he's got that uh, September 11th ribbon on there, which now that I think of it is going to come into play, I think, on this card as well, if it is what I think it is. But anyway, this card um, rarely ever shows up. One showed up not too long ago. Uh, I did not bid on it. I let it go. Then this one was listed with a really high price. Eventually they put it at auction. I think I won it for like a dollar plus, I don't know, maybe $3 shipping. Or maybe the other way around, $3 plus $1 shipping. Uh, but anyway, that will go nicely in my Pacers numbered, my 2000 Pacers number binder for Ron Artest. Okay, last one here. And this card is coming from the Czech Republic. So I believe it's from my friend... And fellow Reggie Miller collector Redeem, and if it's not, it's it's an entirely different card that I'm I'm thinking of. Uh, I don't remember ordering anything else though. Let's see here. Yes, there it is. Okay, let's take this envelope out of sight here. So um, this is a card I'm I'm pretty excited about, and it, it doesn't look like anything major. It is a a numbered Reggie Miller card. Um, it is from, let's see here, I believe 2002-2003. It's not. It's the UD Exclusives numbered to 100. And, uh, you know, I've seen this card in the past, but not paid a lot of attention to it. But at some point, I figured out that I was actually at this game. And I won't go through all the process that led to me figuring that out. I'm, I'm actually going to save that, I think, for another video, because it's not as simple as me seeing this image online and just matching them up. There was quite a bit of work that went into it. So anyway, this is from a game that I went to. I like collecting cards from games that I went to. Um, and, you know, when you get a numbered Reggie Miller on top of that, it makes it all the better. So a uh, couple binder cards here. The binders are coming along quite nicely. These are both from my favorite era. And then a um, nice card here of a historic player in Earl Lloyd. So hope you enjoyed that mail day. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.